Now we will see how you can easily set the properties of your survey in your inline survey. We have to select settings on the left. So the first windows is overview. Here you can see in, in the top left the address, the link to the survey. So for example, if you copy this link and paste it in your, in your browser, your survey will be open, of course, if the survey is active, okay? Then under general settings, here you can add other languages to your survey if you want. Here, as you see, you can set the email of the administrator and uh, the email for other communication in the bounce email address. You can set how your question will be shown, that is question by question. It means uh, one web page for each question. Group by group means all the questions of the same group in the same web page and all in one means all the questions of all groups in the same web page. And of course, you can also select a template for your survey. And I suggest you to select the default te template as it is the most adaptive. Then we switch to the next, that is text elements. Here you can write, for example, a description for your survey. And of course, you can also add a welcome message and an end message. A welcome message may be something like, uh, uh, welcome to my survey, I thank you for participating, uh, please, and so on and of course, some information about privacy. To the end message, you may write, uh, for example, uh, the questionnaire is finished, uh, thank you, your answer has been uh, recorded, and so on. So we can go to the next, and here in the next, indeed, we skip to presentation. In presentation, I think that it is the most important. Here you can set something important. The first is that you can hide show no answer. If this is on, on every question where it is applicable, you will see also the no answer options that it is not a good thing. So I suggest you to set it to off. You can also show or hide there are X question in the survey suggest to put it on off. You can show if you want to show the welcome screen. The welcome screen is the text that you have added in the welcome message, of course. You can allow backward navigation. It means that you can allow the respondent to go back to his or her previous question. You can select it. this if you want to show the keyboard on the screen. You can hide or show the progress bar and so on. So the most important, I think, is the show no answer that should be set on off. Also, there are these two options to select. The first is show a group name and group description. Normally, when you start collecting your da data, you select hide both. But when you are still developing your questionnaire and so you need to test your questionnaire, I, sh I suggest you to show both, okay? And when you start collecting your data to hide both. The same is for question number and question code. Show both. 
when you are testing your questionnaire. So the questionnaire is not active, but when you start collecting your data, hide these items. Okay. So for now, these are the main option to set. Other are more advanced options, but for a beginner, I think that this is enough.